Hey everybody! So as you know, my name is Kianti Ashe and this is Blue Aura Healing Guidance and Tarot. This is going to be the May 2022 reading for our Scorpios, okay? So Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, Jupiter, Mars, or North Node, it really doesn't matter, love. If you in any way at all identify as a Scorpio, then this reading is for you, okay? Scorpio, thank you so much for your patience. As you can see, last month, the uh, uh, Hidden Truth message that I put up for you guys has some audio issues going on with it. So this month here for May 2022, I'm going to be doing two Hidden Truth messages for you. So make sure you have your notifications on. Okay, make sure that you are alert. So when you get that notification, you can come on and watch your videos. Okay, so let us see. Scorpio, May 2022. Scorpio what's happening with our Scorpios okay we have the king of swords okay so receiving a lot of information here this month with the king of swords coming out as the first card could also involve a Gemini Libra and Aquarius but it feels very much so like your energy okay we have the eight of pentacles here so putting in a lot of hard work I feel this energy where you guys are determined to make something happen whether it means getting up early staying up late doesn't matter putting in that extra OT you are fine with it going above and beyond working 25 8 okay you are comfortable with doing so you don't care so as long as it brings you to where you want to be in life the only thing is for whatever reason or another this energy is coming out as a challenge so why is it so difficult to make this happen let us see what we're being guided towards though and then we're looking to everything after the fact okay Whew, quite a lot going on here for you guys this month cars just flipping themselves out the four of wands stability structure partnership okay coming together with another person and celebrating all of the hard work that you've done all of the hard work that you've put in okay i feel like this is why it's so hard for you to focus at work or why it's so hard for work to happen right now spirit is trying to put you in the energy of relaxation enjoying your partner if you have one okay enjoying your business partner your friend your lover okay um yeah for some of you you're also being focused or guided to focus on your relationship over work some of you may be working harder than your your tending to your relationship or putting in more energy and effort at work than you are into your marriage or your relationship something like that okay and you're being guided to focus on that i feel here okay the five of wands coming out as the primary focus the thing that you are focused on you're focused on the distractions you're focused on the chaos you're focused on the outside noise when spirit is saying we should be really guided towards this four of wands okay so it's like we're worried about everything that's causing interference with that eight of pentacles versus actually focusing on our four of wands which would make things a lot smoother and easier in our lives peaceful for us to be able to focus on that eight of pentacles okay you get what i'm saying so let us see here Potential outcome, given things don't shift, things stay as they are. What is the potential outcome? All right, you have free will. You can change your energies at any point in time. We have the Six of Cups, okay? So some inner child healing needs to take place here okay some of you have fear of abandonment you've dealt with it in the past even if you had both parents in the home there were times where you felt rejected or you felt like very much so isolated to yourself like you had to do a lot for yourself so you put a lot of energy into work where you know most people would put that energy into relationships you put all that into work okay because you're like work is the only thing i can rely on work is the only thing that won't abandon me work is but is that necessarily true though you get what i'm saying like some of you are being guided to really focus more on the home as opposed to focusing on whatever this is which is eight of pentacles okay so especially if you work for somebody else spirit is never going to say oh yeah go you know work your freaking soul away at this um company and just leave your family and loved ones at home by themselves wondering if you're okay you know wanting to spend time with you spirit is never going to guide you to do that if it's something that you started for yourself spirit is still not going to guide you to put that above your family because even if you don't have anything else you have your family all right and i'm not talking about um those of us who or who haven't started our own families yet no i'm talking about those of us who have our own family spirit needs you to tend to your family nurture your family okay nurture your spouse we have the two of pentacles you have to find balance between the two okay you have to you cannot put work above your family 
okay and you cannot just lounge around all day at home with your family and not work you have to find that perfect balance and i feel like with the two of swords as the current underlying energy for this two of pentacles you guys know that you're well aware that you need to find balance but maybe you, you just don't want to accept it okay maybe this has been brought to your attention multiple times maybe this is something you yourself realize or somebody else mentioned to you okay one or the other but let us see i feel like either you are finding that balance this month or this is what you're being guided to do okay so moving into june you should be working your way into having a balance routine we have the knight of wands here okay so on a mission to pursue something being extremely relentless not giving up determined by any means necessary to make something happen okay underlying energy here is the death card your energy scorpio transformation okay going through a huge change here all right let us see what's going on what's going down king of swords for our scorpios please what is this king of swords energy okay we got one that fell out the page of cups okay so some of you are receiving communication from spirit that you should go ahead and um give an apology for others of you you're receiving communication from spirit that's giving you heads up that an apology is coming you're about to receive an apology okay let us see the eight of pentacles here Because for some of you, either you're the one who's working too hard or this is how you feel about your person. You feel like they work too hard. They need to find balance. Okay. So you know which side of the storyline you're on. All right. Let us see. <laughs> the six of pentacles. Yeah. Okay. So somebody definitely is feeling like they need to find balance. Okay. Either this is you, like I said, who needs to find the balance and offer the apology to your person. Or this is how your person is feeling. They feel like you need to give them an apology because you put work above them. You put work above the ch children. You put work above everything. And they're just like, you need to find balance. Like you need to be able to, you know what I mean? Or at least give your energy and effort to the things that are giving you the same amount of energy and effort with the six pentacles representing reciprocity, right? So let us see the four of wands here. For the guidance for our Scorpios. Okay, we have the chariot. Yeah. Okay, so you're being guided to um, possibly travel. You and this person travel together. Okay. Go, I just heard something about sightseeing. Okay. Also, somebody may be looking into some dirt bike adventures or something like that. Okay, but you're definitely being guided to spend time with your person. To do some leisure like things to relax to unwind to connect with them okay to rejuvenate your energy that's what it feels like okay because the energy is getting a bit chaotic with the five of wands here all right if some of you feel like you're always arguing there's always bickering going on okay or like somebody's always nagging this is why they feel like you need a break they feel like you give more energy away than is given to you all right um spirit feels like you need to relax with your loved ones unwind get your cup refilled Okay, get out of this chaotic five of wands energy here. Okay, let us see what's going on, y'all. Yep, yep, yep. Okay, how many cards flipped out? Four? Yep. See, the Hierophant for what you're being divinely guided towards. Like I said, for some of you, it's a marriage or um, lifetime partnership. Okay, the Ten of Cups, family. Okay, harmony. This could be like going to the amusement park with your family okay family reunion barbecue going to the park you know just spending family time it's going to take you out of this seven of cups energy feeling very confused with that five of wands lots of chaos lots of distractions lots of all that unnecessary stuff when what you should be having is peace with the four of swords this is what spirit is saying you know you're focused on this with the five of wands but what we should be focused on is this <laughs> Bring it in our peace and our harmony. Okay. So let us see with this six of cups. Six of cups. Okay. We have the high priestess. So I feel like something is going to be revealed to you here about something that you need to heal as far as the six of cups goes. Okay. This can be um, through an earth sign person. Okay. Virgo, Taurus, or Capricorn. Somebody reveals something to you, okay, or something gets revealed to you about a Virgo, Taurus, or Capricorn that helps heal something inside of you. Okay, let us see. The Two of Pentacles. All right. 
Two of Pentacles. What are you here for? All right. The Three of Wands. So, like I said, in the very near future, you're going to be having balance be restored. Yeah. And it's because you're going to take heed to the guidance that you're receiving to go ahead and spend some time with your family to understand that this is going to give you peace of mind. It's going to bring in clarity. Okay. Um, I also feel like, yes, you're still going to be a workaholic. You're still going to work hard. But you're only going to be putting in that energy and effort for things that you feel are giving you the same amount of energy and effort. Okay. Um, the Knight of Wands. Let us see. Ooh. Yep. Okay. You're on a mission to make your life more peaceful. And Spirit is guiding you to do so. Okay. With the Six of Swords. You're being divinely guided to smoother times. All the chaos and the drama and the low vibrations and stuff like that is not for you. Karmic justice is here. Okay, so in whatever way where your spirit team feels like you were wronged or like your energy was taken advantage of or anything like that, things are going to be made right here. Okay, like I said, for some of you, go ahead, offer that apology. For others of you, you can expect an apology coming through. Okay, somebody realizes that they work too hard. They need to spend more time at home, spend more time with their family. Okay, tend to their children. Also, there's some inner child healing that needs to take place. Like I said, maybe in the past, someone felt abandoned, rejected, something isolated. They need to heal from that. Okay, they haven't. Um, they just put that energy into work. We have a fiery climax approaches. Yeah, because we're going to realize some things about ourselves, or something's going to get revealed to us about someone that's going to bring forth a lot of necessary healing. Okay. Or it's going to, um, initiate that healing getting started at least. Okay. Let us see what we have here. Yep. Conclusions are within reach. Okay. Conclusions are within reach. Things about to take off. Things about to happen here. Full moon eclipse. We literally just had a full moon eclipse last night. Okay. So there's a lots of energies that you're dealing with at this time. Let us see. And then we have a new start is coming. But this is why it's happening. So that this new start can present itself. Okay. By the next new moon. All right, underline the energy here. The energy is gaining momentum. So by the next time the full moon arrives, like I said, in June this time, you guys will have balance restored, okay? So if this is your message or you enjoyed it, give it a thumbs up. And if you have not already, go ahead and subscribe. Peace and hair